welcome back to another lit video. It's your girl, Leba the period. Oh, girl. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, comment in the comment section, don't forget to turn your post notifications and hit that subscribe button. And for today's video, we're going to be reacting to most violent inmates, a hidden America, a hidden America inside Rikers Island something. But yeah, so I guess it's a video about hell, he, violent prisoners. Ugh, I keep saying hidden, hidden. I'm gonna watch half of it and then watch the rest because yeah, I think I mentioned it space exporting and I don't want to delete a lot of things just to export a video but yeah without further ado let's get into the video let's get into the video sorry a little malfunction Tonight, come with us to Rikers Island, the biggest jail complex in America. A place haunted no. by its violent history. 8,000 inmates living in a kind no. of suspension, a shadow world. If you can survive Rikers Island, you can survive anything. I'm about to kill myself. This is a badass place. There is only one road uh. in, across a bridge. The inmates have nicknamed us the Bridge of Pain. On one side of the car, we can see the New York skyline uh. celebrating possibility and hope. Straight ahead, a world apart. We've been granted unprecedented access. Hi, I'm Sawyer with ABC. Our cameras will have seven days inside, 70 hours. Once we enter the first lesson of Rikers, be ready for the unexpected. During our time there, no. nine different alarms, lockdown. The numbers that are being deployed right now indicate something pretty big, doesn't it? On the other side of this maze of doors, the question so we came officers. here to answer. Is it really possible to change this notorious, explosive place? We start with the treatment of the most violent inmates. A door opens. Listen. The sound of solitary confinement. Across Rikers, while we're there, 165 people locked up to 23 hours a day in concrete 23 cells. 23 hours! Restriction, no interviews through the cell doors it can create heightened turbulence. This is the punishment for inmates who attack officers or each other, fighting, slashing with hidden weapons. Yo. Yo. As we said, their entire world is concrete walls, a toilet, Yo. a sink, no TV. Cut off There's from no most light. human interaction. It's not even possible to see through the opening on this door. And the one hour spent outside for recreation, locked separately into an outdoor cage. In decades <clears throat> past, Rikers used unlimited isolation as punishment. Two officers are the only regular human contact for up to 50 men. Any sounds I hear, door, cell doors opening, anything, you just want to make sure that you're going to be okay. And as the officers that serve not lunch nice. through a cell opening, a milk carton. The carton becomes a projectile, a giant spray of urine and feces. <gasps> hey, boom, boom, boom. I'm supposed to feed a guy that's throwing stuff out of the cell at me. I'm supposed to feed him, you know, but got to still remain professional and, and do a job. So. At Rikers, it's called Some people don't have Officer a choice Graham in terms of the every job space they around the cell door puts him at risk for the weaponized body fluids. They probably fill it halfway, wedged into the door. He says he knows people across America have seen those videos from Rikers in the past. Officers using no. force. But he has a challenge. Everybody has an opinion, you know, about what goes on and stuff in here, but nine times out of ten, if anybody that has anything negative to say about a correction officer, they never even been in a facility. But again, a fundamental question. Do long stretches in solitary make inmates less dangerous or more? I have a lot of years of solitary confinement. Rafael Figueroa says in the past, he was locked a year and a half straight in solitary, which prisoners call the box. He says he's now a time bomb. How many fights? Over the years, I can't even count. No. I would say maybe 30, 40. I've been being down, almost killed exactly in this jail. I've been more in prison than in the streets. When, like, recently, when I went to the streets, I felt like I was in jail. You know, I'm... I'm so, you know, institutionalized, brainwashed, call it what you want to call it. He says he's changed forever. In here, I feel comfortable inside myself because I'm safe for myself. I'm safe for others. I can't function in society. 
The vast majority uh, of inmates are here in a kind of purgatory, convicted of nothing yet, and this awaiting guy trials. Is young. And fifty-seven percent of these inmates were charged for non-violent crimes. First time incarcerated? Yeah. First and last time. Get to experience it all, I guess. <laughs> Aaron Perry, sent to Rikers for stealing computers and phones, ended up in the hell of solitary because of an angry outburst. He talks about the despair in this place. I see a lot of frustration. That's, I see frustration. Commissioner Joseph Pont says there is simply no evidence this kind of treatment reduces violence. That is and says, true. remember, 80% of the inmates at Rikers will eventually be back out in your town. That's the first half that I watched. Like, imagine, like, there's no window. Like, you can't even see outside. It's like they spray paint. I don't know if they spray paint the, 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 the window for outside with black so they don't see, like, those little window thingies by the doors. It's, like, blurry. It's, like, it's like plastic. It's, like, you know, plastic when it's has scratches and, and, and it's dirty. Like, they can't even see. Imagine being in there for 23 hours every day. Like, you lose your mind. You know, some people, they go crazy being in the house for at least even six hours. Imagine being in this small space for 23 hours. The toilet is there, the bed is there, the basin is there, and that's it. They, imagine, let's say you took a poop. Let's say you put in the toilet. That smell is going to... You're gonna suffocate in your own poop smile, da. Like there's no fresh air, there's nothing. And when they go outside for recreational, they put them in cages like they dogs. Like they can't even like be together because that's how violent these people are. Like these people, they just like this guy said, he can't even function in society. Like I remember I even watched this other video where this boy was arrested with this this man he was arrested ever since i think he was a teenager he's been in prison for like 80 years imagine you you were in prison from 1990 we're taking 1956 until to 2022 oh, like that's your whole life the world has changed as you've been in prison like you come there and it's like you, you in a whole outrageous thing but what's the point i know prison I've been there my whole life. What's the, some people don't even know what to do. Technology has advanced. Things have changed. Like, how do you even adapt to this new society? Like, how do you even survive in prison? Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. Like, I'm checking these videos. These people are beating each other. They're beating. Did you see how all these police officers, they have helmets. They have these... Um, um, body pads they they even walk around with bats because that's how dangerous these prisoners are yo i can't uh, what the fuck you give this video a big thumbs up comment your thoughts on this don't forget to turn your post notifications hit the subscribe button and i'm gonna watch the second half of it